Captain Blake, good to see you. Is the seat taken? Sit down. Have one. Yeah, thanks. Well, it's good to see you, fella. I might add, it's good to see you alive. Lived long enough to get a leave. I'm on my way back to the States. And you've earned it. I heard about your crash landing. Are you all right? Pretty lucky, I guess. I got out of it with nothing more than a headache and a sprained ankle. But Commander Reed, poor devil. Yeah, it's a tough break. He's a grand guy. I begged him to jump with me. It was his only chance. But he thought he could save the ship. Not a chance with one motor on fire. How long was it before you were picked up? Four days. Only four days after you were reported missing? <laughs> I'll say you're lucky. Four days, that's something of a record. I'm not complaining. If it hadn't been for the rescue plane, I'd have been there three months. A regular ship only stops at the island four times a year. Yeah, I bet those four days seemed like a lifetime. But what a lifetime. Huh? Four of the fastest and most amazing days I ever spent. Well, uh, pardon my inquisitiveness, uh, but where did all this take place? On an island called Tubataro. English translation, Love Island. Oh, I'm beginning to get you. Yes, sir, Captain. Four amazing days and nights. Actions, thrills, and... Love? Captain, if you saw it in a movie, you wouldn't believe it. <laughs> you, you got me drooling. At least let us have a short resume. Well, it doesn't seem possible. It was only four days ago I landed in that beach grass. I made a perfect landing. I can see the breakers in the distance. Ingo will be home before me and he will be angry. When he is angry, it's not pleasant to live with. I must go, Salna. You better go quickly, Paul. I come later. Speak English? Comprenez-vous français? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? You wish to have talk with me? Why you not speak English? Thanks, I will. Master hurt foot? Master will be all right in a minute or two, I think. Maybe so soon it will not be more better. Let's hope so. Oh. I think I better sit here for a little while. Oh, Master can sit here all day tonight. And all tomorrow today. That's one way to spend the weekend. You seem to speak English very well. Where did you learn? My father, Aryuna, spent much money to that sea captain that I may learn. But they do not teach me to say what you say. Ah, uh, shucks? No, I hardly think they teach you anything like that. You translate meaning, please. Oh, it's something you say when you're angry, or when you feel bad, or when you're hurt. I will remember. And I will teach Tamor and my father. Tamor? And who be Tamor? Translate, please. Tamor, very good, kind friend. 
But I'll not teach second wife from my father. Well, leave her out. Because every time she sees me, she will say, oh, shucks. Oh, she doesn't like you. No. That's strange. I don't know how anyone could dislike you. How can second wife love daughter that's not her own? I don't find it difficult loving daughters that aren't my own. You have second wife? No, I haven't even found the first one yet. Tell me, what island is this? Master not know where he is. This is Tobatara. In English, it's called Love Island. Sounds as though it had possibilities. But we'll go into that some other time. First, I've got to get to the nearest town. Tobatara not far. Can Master make walk? Yes, I think Master can walk all right. I don't believe I caught your name. Sarna. Sarna. Very pretty. Look, see, Master's foot grows very much big. Very pretty. Azuna, could I speak to you of something close to the heart? Speak, Tamar. These old eyes are sharp enough to know the words before the ears hear them. It is of your daughter, Sana, I speak. I know full well you speak of her. Is she not your favorite subject? My heart is overflowing with her. Let me say this, my young friend. Sana will make her own choice. Her future life of happiness must be of her own decision. Her decision will be proper. You're most kind. My life will be devoted to her happiness. Someone approaches who would demand otherwise of you. He will not give up till you give him your daughter. You mean your rocker? His persuasion with me is as light as the early morning dew. <laughs> and it has less weight. I'm grateful. Run for it. Run for it, Jack. Are you in there? You're Raka. Why, Ninga? You look sorrowful. It is not moment for gladness when husband knows not where his wife spends her time. I think I do know. Which makes it more distressing. Marty the fisherman wants her. Let him repay me first the money she cost me. She is an excellent company, Ninga. Your wife, Clefon, is with Sana on the beach. It is not for a young puppy to speak to their elders on matters of grave privacy. I speak of someone nearer my own age, his wife. Perhaps it would be more fortunate if the young seek the young and the old realize their own age. The old are blessed with wisdom. I fear it is not a question of age, Uraka. You speak but one word for Ninga and many for yourself. I do not get your meaning. You want Sana for your wife. But where there is no love, it cannot be bought. What I want, I shall have. It is not what you want. Come, Tamor. Only ill can come from anger. The young fool is making his own time exceedingly short. Come, Linga. We will go and talk with Made, the fisherman. Now look at the darn thing. It's really swollen. I go catch hot water. Make it grow small. Pretty soon. Quick. Do you mind helping me with these togs? Say, Mac, you live around here? Yes. My name is Tamar. Tamar? Oh, yeah, 
Yes. You're a friend of Sarna's. It's true. You're not jealous because she's helping me work on this sore ankle of mine, are you? No. Sarna is good, kind, and beautiful. Let's not overlook that. Quite a dish. You've got yourself something. I envy you. Thank you. Thank you. Second wife of my father was making hot water for his tea. So I steal the hot water. Say, aren't you sharp? Let's have a look. The more. He hurt his foot. Can I help? No, no. I'll take care. What are you going to do? Take that again, the big foot of the nice foreign devil. You know, you ought to be a nurse. Ouch. Take it easy. It makes hurt? No, it feels fine, fine. I'm glad. You like to see people suffer, don't you? No, but... But if Master's big foot get well too soon, Sarna will see him no more. Master doesn't have to leave just because his foot is well. Yep, I'm beginning to like it here. Yeah. been saying it to. to me. Pay no attention to him. You haven't told me your name. No. I'm Lieutenant Richard Tabor. But my friends all call me Dick. I will call you Dickie. Fair enough. Say, whose place is this? My father's shop. Would your father care to have you Talk with a man from another country? My father does not know. Therefore, how can he care? Suppose he found out, would he care? I don't know. I've never before talked to foreign devil. I never before talked to girl from Tubatara. I am not a girl. I am a woman. That four men wish to marry. Only four? It's a good thing the Marines didn't land here. It is so. Tamor, Vayan, Yaraika, Peck. One, two, three, four. What are you holding out for? I cannot marry Tamor. He's my friend. I cannot marry Pat. He has one eye. I will not marry Yaraka. He has a wife. I cannot marry Wayan. He has three children. They are not my own. Well, that takes care of the foursome. Where do we go from there? I'm going to marry the man of my choice. Or go and marry to my grave. With your ideas, you should live in my country. Where is your country? United States. America. America? Oh, yes, I've heard of America. A lot of people have. It's quite a place. How many wives you take in America? Well, to be on the safe side, you only take one at a time. I heard. Women across the sea are very strange. They have much clothes and, and much paint on their face. It's a throwback to the Indians. And on their feet, they wear shoes that high. I guess you folks down here are really authorities on the midriff and the plunging neckline. Say, speaking of authorities, I better get in touch with my base and tell them where I am. I have to forget. I'll say. The trouble is, is you're much too... You certainly are. I can do. In your country, do they kiss ladies on shoulder? Well, it's the beginning. In Tubatara, we rub cheeks. Like this?
I think that's more better. I think it more better I put on my shoe. Clipon. Clipon, where you go? Far away. You will never see Clipon again. But your husband, Ninga. He is old, ugly, and he beat me many times. I can stand no more, so I go away. Far to the west, to love and happiness. To love and happiness. Clipon, it's Mardi, the fisherman. Yes, today he wait for me. He is good and kind, and he will not beat the woman he will call wife. My pretty Clipon. Love and happiness. May you find much of both. I will pray in the temple for you. I have to go to the temple to pray for the happiness of my friends. Pipon Amade. I'll go with you. Maybe the priest can tell me how I can communicate with my base. Well, how's our friend Mr. Yoraka feeling? He is very angry. His face gives him much pain. Mm, gives me much pain, too. Two of his teeth are very loose. Only two. I must be slipping. Yoraka has a long memory. He will not forget the blow you gave. I'll take it to the temple. Sana. You like this foreign devil? I have not say so. Foreign devil likes you. He have not say so. Can you not tell without words? Yes, a little. But I like to hear words too. How do you like this temple? Say, what's going on out there? An old-fashioned prayer meeting? Come, I'll take you to the courtyard. That is the Legong dance. It is only danced by two girls, unmarried. Quite a shindig. Reminded me of Christmas on the old plantation. What is Christmas? It's the birthday of the son of our God. Our endeavors have gods too. We have one. Only one? That's very sad. We worship many. And at the feet of our husbands. Do not the women in your country worship at the feet of their husbands? Not since 1492. That's very sad. They should be beaten. A great idea. But the women in my country hit first. Why do they beat the gals here? Well, because they talk too much. Do not the women in your country talk too much? Entirely too much. But don't quote me. 
If this, what's his name, Yaraka, should become your husband, would he beat you? Oh, yes. But how could he? The bamboo stick. And why have anything to do with him? I am not going to marry Yaraka. And a girl? But he offered much rice for me. Do they trade you girls in here for a bowl of rice? At that rate of exchange, a guy with a sack of potatoes could get himself a harem. But you do not understand. We have a beautiful custom. When we make marriage, man always gives something. Like Rimpen. Would you like me to tell you the story how Rimpen got married? I would love to hear the story of how Rimpen got married. Important custom is to kidnap girl to be bride. It is a big secret and everybody knows about it. The boy, he pretend to make big fight and takes girl away with him. comes home looking for his daughter, but he knows she's already gone. Sounds a little strange to me. No strange. Custom. Balinese. You quiet. Father tells priest to get his daughter back right away, quick. And right away quick she comes home. Father much angry. Beats daughter with a palm leaf. She pretends she's hurt. But no hurt. No hurt. Priest forbids father to whip anymore and tells father that boy will make a good husband for his daughter and soon father will be grandfather. Now wedding is getting ready. Now Rimpen's friends dress her and the ceremony begins. People carry many offerings to the temple. When friends cannot come to temple, they carry offerings of flowers and fruit to own little shrine. Then there is dancing. seven times, asking the blessings of the gods. And then the priest sprinkles holy water on everybody. Now it comes to the end. And the husband and wife paddles away on the boat for a happy honeymoon. We have such big ceremonies. Doesn't anyone ever elope? Elope? What's that? When a guy grabs a toothbrush and a girl and runs off to get married. It's a very strange custom. No fuss, no bother, it's simple. No climbing trees for coconuts, no dragging turtles around. All you do is look up a minister, say your I do's, and you're hooked. Vicky? Yes? I got a toothbrush. Whoa, sister, whoa. 
Please, Dickie. Tell me more talk. What more is there to say but... I love you all through this life, and the next and the next. The love of Sarna will grow and grow and grow for her wonderful big foreign devil. Excuse me a moment, please. Oh, Lord of all creatures, you make Sarna love the foreign devil. That's good. But now make the foreign devil love Sarna. That's the best of all. Oh, Lord of all creatures. Excuse me a moment, please. You will marry Sarna? Now look, honey, I'm very fond of you. I think you're beautiful. But give a guy a chance to catch his breath, will you? of all creatures. The foreign devil says he will marry Sarna as soon as he catches his breath. Lord of all creatures, I thank you. Please make Sarna a good wife. That's all I ask. take away life. He is dead. They kill him. Pretty guy. 
gods. Pu Manku sees thy offering. Pu Manku prays. Ninga the rice merchant gives sacred rice to the gods. The gods return to Ninga the lost wife of his house. to do to her? I do not know. I'm going to find my father. You find her more. Who and who must ask you to stop here? Or one born would step into the lives of other people? The gods forbid. Who and who do not think foreign born shows wisdom? Out of my way. Pan was pretty. Ninga is old and could not save face. Others have had to do so for him. Made the fisherman will never again speak soft words of love to listening ears. Why did you, Raka, take to his heart the sorrow of another? Le Pan spends much time in idle talk with one whom I wish to make my wife. She may give ideas to Sana which are not good. Sana needs no advice. Then I will give her esteemed father some advice. Yaraka has not forgotten that once you told him of an uprising in Fipo. You were sentenced to be hanged, yes? That was 20 years ago. Why does Jaraka speak of these things now? Aryuna's life hangs by a thread, a word to the governor would cut. Oh, but do not be afraid, Aryuna. I have uh, influence and power and money, enough and plenty to save you. I give it with gladness in your service. When Jaraka gives, it is to receive. That which I worship beyond all things, thy daughter. Is a daughter much to give in exchange for her father's life? I have said I would not give Sona to one she did not love. Even if it cost you your life? I am old, but that is of no matter. My life is a small thing to lose for the happiness of my daughter. Let the gods hear me and bear witness. If Aryuna do not give to me the hand of Sana, then will he soon begin the long journey. And your daughter will mourn the loss of one who could have saved his life with a word. If I had a hundred lives to lose, and you could take them all, even as you can take this one which the gods have given me, my answer would still be the same. No.
brings the daughter of Aryuna a second time to this place? I have come to ask the gods for help. Sama has much wisdom. I wonder how far it will lead her. To the end, maybe. Who can tell? It were more better if her wisdom led her beneath the roof of Yoraka. Who is so wise? Who can tell? Is perhaps I can if the daughter of Ayuna will listen? I've already heard much. Too much. Then you know that our Yuna has but few remaining hours in which to enjoy the light of the sun and the fruit of his labor. I know. You know your father has price on his head and his life is forfeit. I know. I wonder, will it be said of Sana? Her father died because she would not save him. No. No! Sara, know the desire of my heart. It take but a word from her lips. If I make promise to marry you, will you make promise that no harm shall come to my father? Yes. I think God's up to Batara, yes! Then, I make promise. Mm. Tomorrow, Sana will come to the house of your Raka as his bride? Tomorrow, I will come. Woman of a thousand charms. At last, my purpose comes true and my dream is real. And no harm shall come to my father. Let us not talk of Aryuna when my thoughts are only of his daughter. My heart bids me to take that today, which is all mine tomorrow. Do not touch me! Do not touch me! The gods have sent me the foreign devil. Now I can see him no more. For that I hate you. I hate you! There are no words can tell how big I hate you. I make promise. For my father, I keep that promise. That among all the evil of spirits, there is no one I hate as much as I hate Yaraka. Oh, Lord of all creatures, I feel very bad. I'm angry. I'm hurt. Is my pretty little moonbeam a happy bride? Yes, my father. Why, those eyes are red from weeping. Is it from joy? Is not the wedding day the greatest day of a woman's life? Has the child of my heart no regret that leave taking to give me comfort through the lonely years to come? I have never loved my father as much as now. Does it not please you to call Yaraka, son? There are others I would have chosen before him. It is hard to believe that Sana loves Yuraka. Does my father think that I would marry where I do not love? No. And yet, there was the foreign-born. Did you not tell me of him and say, him you would marry? It was but a dream, my father. Why did you send the foreign-born away? He's a man of the West. I'm a woman of the East. I tell him he belongs to the white man world. Oh. What have 
I done that makes my father sad? How can I tell? How can I tell my child the secret I have kept buried all these years? Secret? My father speaks, but I do not understand. Listen while I speak words of truth. Sana is not the daughter of Aryuna. No. No. No, I do not believe it. You just tell me this. No, it isn't true. It is true. The one from over the seas, he is of your people, not of mine. I don't know his people, and they do not know me. How can I be one of them? I am Sarna, daughter of Aryuna. I make promise. I keep promise. Promise? What promise? I make promise to Yaraka. Yaraka? And Yaraka make promise to me. What promise Yaraka makes Sana? That he... That... That he'll buy silks for my body and... And diamonds for my ears and... And gold bracelets for my wrists. Never before have false words fallen from the lips of Sana. What promise did Yuraka make? Promise, if I marry him, no harm shall come to you. Taya, it is as I thought. Does a foreign born know of this? No. No, I haven't told him. Then I find him before it is too late. Uh. Here is Tamar. It is maybe he can tell us. Tell me quick. Have you seen him? I have been very much busy today. News of wedding from this house comes very sudden. But I would not have Sana become a bride without a gift from Tamar. Tamar is very good. A carved teakwood box for you. A place to keep your most lovely garments and other things of value. And now, noble master, I wish to talk with you of many things. I will go with Tamar. Here is the key. Beautiful one. I ask a word of him. An old Tamor is giving me the present. I do not know what more Tamor can give to Sana. to be firmly packed. The gods do here, Sarah. They do. They do. Aren't you going to look at me? I make promise never to look upon you again. Did you also make a promise that I couldn't put my arms around you? No, I did not make that promise. And I'm free to do as I please. And this is what pleases me most. You know, if you turned your head just a little bit more, I could kiss you. There, that's more better. Wow. All right, lock me up for the night. Dicky! Dicky! Baby, you don't think you can fool a guy who loves you. You do love me, don't you? Yes. I love you. I love you more than I can speak. But I give you up. Honey, you're in a rut. But it's no use. This time I'm gonna hang on. But 
my father is in big danger. I must save him. That's why. Today I marry Yanaka. So that's it. To save your father, you plan to marry that crocodile. I cannot break my promise. I'll break it for you. There, it's broken. What is that, a fire drill going on out there? It's for me, and my wedding ceremony. That is Mario. He's the most famous Balinese dancer. And it is for me, and my happiness he dances. shop on the Bangi Road paid so well that one so new in business could buy such costly gifts for a bride not his own. <laughs> Come. Sit at my feet that I may drink in the beauty of our Una's most wonderful daughter. The heart of your rack uh, beats loudly with great joy at this moment. <laughs>
right. My husband, you're not yet. It's better I keep it. My adorable one might lose it. It is far better I keep. Far better. Here, I is not so pleasant. Please give me the key. I only ask what's mine. My adored one does not need the key. I do not permit the wedding gift of Amor to grace my house. What are you going to do with it? You will wait outside until you hear my voice. Then you will come and take box. The bridge that crosses the river Badamas. You will stumble from great weight. And box will fall into the muddy waters that flow below. Go, wait for my voice. We'll have nothing to remind her of a lovesick boy who said pretty speeches by light of the moon. No. No, you will not. I will not have it so. <laughs> Like a man whose heart is eaten with jealousy. I will remove it by removing the cause. <laughs> ah, now I see why Araka wants to destroy the box of carved teakwood. Open it. Open it. And see the emptiness that is within. <laughs> Araka thinks that Sana would hit her lover in the box. <laughs> Open it. There is no one here. No one. Save Sarna and Yaraka. And yet he thinks that there is a third close beside. You swear it? By the love I bear my fathers. By the gods I worship. By the sacred graves of my ancestors. There is no one here but we two. No one! Open. We shall see. Lies. Nothing but lies. You think false words would fool your rocker? You think to blind my eyes with your woman's cunning? You think I am a fool to be outwitted to cheat, to trick? Is it so you would save my father and shame my house? Teakwood and gold to the daughter of my former master. It is perhaps you would give him a foreign dog for a husband. I would give even more, that she may be happy. What more has Tamur to give? The key of a gold teakwood box. The knife of Yoraka has a keen edge. Yoraka has waited long for the moment when Tamur would come. Tamur has come. Stop. 
that's about all that happened. That's all? <laughs> but what of the girl? Uh, how did you part with her? I mean, how did you take leave? You mean I should have said something? Well, you're taking this awfully cold-blooded. Walking out on a girl like that without doing anything about it, it gives the Navy a bad name. Oh. oh, I think I'm beginning to understand. You already have a wife back in the States. Not yet, but I soon will have. Oh, somebody waiting for you. No. Someone going along with me. <laughs> <laughs>